and the day is offering up its best to be exploited by our human race. The birds are singing and the flowers are blooming. The sound of laughing children playing outside fills the air. But your child hasn't joined them. What reason could there possibly be for this odd behaviour? Your child may be emo. Now before you panic, please sit down. There may be hope yet. Many parents are ignorant of what an emo truly is. This short film will teach you everything you need to know about this situation that is every parent's nightmare. We will touch on the basics, pet thieves, and even how to alleviate the symptoms of this teenage phenomenon. But first, what is emo? I'm an emo. emo is a teenage trend that became highly contagious in the year 2005 and was soon known throughout its followers as an alternative lifestyle. In short, emo stands for emotional. Observe Exhibit A, the typical emo. The predominance of the color black is supposedly to connote the darkness of the emo's mind, heart, and soul. Within the emo genre, there lie many sub-genres. Scene and hardcore kids have a tougher exterior, often stretch their ears, and can be found on a late night shopping evening drinking goo at skate parks. Mullets will all model the same fish named hairstyle. Kitty emos will be seen sporting backpacks, displaying characters from their favorite children's show. The Wiggles, Dora the Explorer, Spider-Man, and Batman have proven very popular. While emos are highly unreligious, idolisms of such characters such as Hello Kitty and Emily the Strange have grown to cultish proportions. A widespread attribute that emos sport is a depressed nature, often accompanied with threats and discussion of suicide and self-mutilation. Don't be alarmed by this though, but most will only pretend to harm themselves and they are actually perfectly stable-minded. Accompanying this so-called depression, an emo will often act as though they are much younger than they truly are. For example, they will take pleasure in things of the adolescence, such as dinosaurs, crayons, ribbons and children's stories. Darkness is a reoccurring theme when it comes to the culture of the emos. From their hair, to their clothes, and it carries across to their emotional outlets. As emos are such emotional creatures, heartfelt poetry and diary entries are popular among the majority. Here we have an example of an emo's poetry. Another crucial release for the emo is music. To an emo, music is life, and life without music would cause them to self-implode. As all teenagers do, emos have their own networking system on the world wide web of the internet. MySpace, Facebook, Vivo, and the lesser known vampire groups have proven to be all the rage with the emo population. To lure in people to their pages, emos will take photo after self photo of themselves at the same angle and stance. Thus is the origin of the emo pose. Now that we have a firm grasp of the concept that is emo, what do we do now? Parents in this troubling situation have but few choices. Embracing your emo, ignoring your emo, or curing your emo. Embracing your emo. After the initial shock of discovering your child has decided to become an alternative being, one may decide to embrace and nurture your emo's new lifestyle. But ensuring your child is comfortable being emo around you will require some sliders, as they are known to absorb contentedness through feelings of frustration and imprisonment. Complain about them needing a haircut on a regular basis, but don't force them and constantly protest about the volume and lyrics of your emo's new music. Taste. This dark. choice is ideal. Option 2. Ignoring your emo. This option is for the naive parent who believes their teenager is just going through a phase. In most instances, ignoring your emo will only increase concentration of rebelliousness. And lastly, curing your emo. This decision is the hardest to tackle. Take away your emo's technology. All emos are reliant on their mobile phones, MP3s, 
yeah. TVs, computers, and digital cameras. Take away these, and you take away the emo. This now brings us to the end of our program. We hope that you are now fully enlightened as to the insight of the emo child. We hope that you can join us again next week on the ABC for the Parent's Guide to the Gay Child. I'm Ralph McBobby. Thank you.